Oh, hello, Sawyer. This is Proper Otis, and today we're going to read a proper story about a bridge. Story time! Let's read a proper story today. Oh, yes, I say. This story is called The Bridge to Nowhere. Away out in the quiet middle of nowhere, a little stone bridge crossed over a narrow, salty inlet. A few cars and trucks went over the little bridge, and a few small boats went under it, going putt, putt, putt. But most of the time, there was nothing to see except a saucy seagull or two, back from faraway places. Still here, they called. Still cheerfully going nowhere and still seeing nothing, little stick in the mud. Still here, said the little bridge. Not that I wouldn't like it to see a bit of the world, but I can't anyway. I like being cheerful. And cheerful he certainly was. The cars and trucks hummed over the little bridge so happily that more and more drivers began coming that way, instead of using the big crowded bridge near the city. After a time, there was so much traffic on the little stone bridge that a gas station man built a gas station just beyond it. Gas. A lunch wagon for hungry drivers came next, and storekeepers put up their stores. And then a real estate man built houses for all those men and their families. So at last there was a cheerful, busy town, close to the little bridge, and the people named it Bridgeton. Now when the seagulls call, Still here, little bridge, still going nowhere, the little bridge laughs, Still here, why go anywhere when the whole exciting world comes to me? And the saucy seagulls circle over him in great surprise, without one single saucy word to say. Proper story time. We read a very proper story today. Good night, Sawyer. I love you ever so much. <laughs>